uh, today we'll be um, seeing the some fe features, unique features of uh, Open Road Designers, its capabilities, as well as uh, some part of Terran. And uh, just uh, we'll be starting with our like uh, Open Road Designer, how, uh, what are the ribbon tools, what are the workflows, and uh, what are tabs available. So first and the foremost, foremost thing which we'll be looking on is something like uh, what are basic features of Open Road Designer capabilities. So starting with the the software interface, uh, when we whenever we start out with the icon of Open Road Designer, we are onto this screen, and uh, Open Road Designer has been incorporated incorporated with a very uh, much graphical user interface. If you can see on the left panel. Uh, there are some uh, asking for files, your recent files, and you have the option for browse a new file. So we do have a op also option. Uh, we do also have a backstage, which is which I will show you later on, like an uh, an MS Office U or MS Excel, Word, PowerPoint. We have uh, different options like file save, setting saves, uh, import, export, open. So we do have a similar kind of uh, same interface in Open Road Designer. Uh, to make it much attractive and user friendly. So if you can see, this is the start window and uh, on the top hand, uh, this is the, the drop down for your workspace and this is the drop down for your set. So I will focus on these two keywords in Open Road Designer. There are uh, three keywords very much important to note down. One first is a workspace where, which have some certain setting files or your design standards. It's, it, is, it is basically a folder structure. Suppose if you are working on Indian standards or we are going for a, a different country like U, US, UK. So to do specific project works according to their standards, we need to select uh, certain workspaces and work sets. If you imagine the kind of workspaces uh, uh, governing or default uh, uh, uh default settings or default standards which you and your complete transportation team might be using for any country specific uh, uh, for any country specific projects and work set can be defined like uh, you you have different uh, teams within your uh, departments like one is working on drainage one is working on highway alignment so work sets can be altered or if you have like certain different typical cross sections or difficult uh, dif uh, different standards which you want to um, override or override your uh, default standards present in your uh, this workspace so for that you need to select a training uh, for that you need to select a work, work set so by default uh, you have uh, you get uh, some sample workspaces and work set with your open road designer so i will be selecting just training and examples for practice session if you can see on my window for different countries there are different works workspace folders uh, if i am going to work on some in a indian highway i need to select indian standards and then select uh, whatever relevant work sets i've made within the within this indian standard workspace so for currently uh, will be uh, for the practice session also so we are at this uh, start window of open road designer in which i was telling to select your workspace and work set as well so for currently we are going to start with the uh, uh, training and examples which is default workspace provided along with the open road designer and within this, uh, I'll be selecting training metric just to work on the metric design standards. I will be creating. So while creating a new file, if you notice that uh, there are within the seed, seed files are basically nothing but your setting files along which you need to work or align your project. So settings may contain your uh, setting of your viewport, setting of your uh, like uh, working units. So you need to be very specific and you need to mm -hmm. remember you, uh, what uh, seed you are picking up so it's a general thumb thumb rule you can say or best practice to uh, select seed 3d only for uh, terrain creation so if you are going to create your terrain and keep it in a separate dgen file you need to select seed 3d and for rest other works like alignment creation and uh, your corridors and your uh, super elevation or typical cross section or your drawing production, every other task you need to select C2D. So remember for only uh, terrain, you need to select C3D and for rest other tasks, you need to select C2D. So let me select C3D first and uh, give a, a file name. So as you all might be familiar with the Bentley's 
uh, many products uh, file extension that is a common uh, file extension that is dgn which is a single <laughs> file format and single platform which which can be shared between different bentley products as well so let me uh, name like a demo and uh, simply click on save so it will be loading some files to be used and those files or those standards which you have defined like settings uh, for element for labels everything is dependent on the workspace and work set which you are going to select right here so this is your uh, screen which you are getting uh, it's a kind of black screen because till now you haven't performed any action or not no design element is present so let me quickly brief you with the interface so like i was telling it is a completely graphical user interface we have the file menu here right here in the left hand so this is called a backstage so please keep a note on uh, the terminologies which i am using so this is completely the backstage and in the backstage you may find several options like save files save as and save settings as well as close and properties import export so this is this is these all options are present in the backstage and like i need to change my uh, working unit so i will quickly go to settings and files then within the design files i, I may find working units from with uh, from here if i need to work on imperial or instead of metric system i need to work on the imperial system which is in fit so i can change right from here assign the subunit also so now let's quickly look over the uh, workflows so basically this is a drop down in the top uh, top left corner so these workflows contains uh, different types of uh, ribbons as well and within ribbons the tools so if you are going to select different workflows the tools and ribbons are going to change automatically mainly we are using open roads modeling and uh, this is because uh, it, co it covers the general uh, aspects of your design like uh, you have option uh, like you have uh, ribbon and tab for terrain then geometry then corridors corridors and later on then uh, drawing production and some micro station tools which are incorporated in, within drawing tabs to make it easy for engineers as well for drafting uh, to use some drafting tools as well so let me quickly uh, brief with uh, some like uh, top menu as well so we are going to select open roads modeling as a workflow to work to start with any of our work then we are going to select uh, 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 whatever the relevant um, like if we are going to create a terrain we are going to select this uh, specific tool before that let me tell you this is op this icon is for save then save settings and we do have an option for compress file also suppose your design model or your complete model is taking too much of megabytes you can simply compress it down and you will see good results in compression like 60 to 70 percent it compresses your file without uh, changing any major changes in your like uh, without uh, affecting your designs so and the next part is your obviously there's a control plus z available that is undo command available and uh, you have one step undo as well as all step undo another this icon is for set mark suppose you have uh, done your you are done 10 you have done the 10 steps and you want to go next 10 steps but you are not sure whether uh, it will produce your desired outcome or not so you want to first try it on you can set mark uh, from the place or time from which you want to erase all those 10 steps and as soon as, soon as you click on set mark uh, it will assign the pointer and then you click undo it will erase all those 10 steps uh, right here so instead of clicking Control z or undo repeated times you can use the set mark option so home tab home ribbon contains this uh, this is basically a ribbon in which home tab contains your first is your element template and then is your level manager so suppose you are having a project uh, sub your standard your standards uh, element templates contained within the dwg D, uh, or dgn file specifically or your csv file so you can directly uh, import your templates as well only you need to check um, or first you can check the by default elements available within the open roads as well so if you need to modify them as well that's done that can also be done and if you need to import uh, so, so uh, i was on the home tab so we have uh, like um, element template manager here and as well as level level display manager here also we have a like you you might have seen in your uh, my computer there's a 
local text folder and uh, some certain folder subfolder so for that convenience uh, since our dgen file contains all those components which are we, we, which we are going to design like al alignments terrain and um, your corridors and typical cross sections super elevation sections everything is to be contained and you can easily see them in an organized manner by clicking over the explorer if i click quickly click and show you the explorer so these are the uh, these are the elements of your highway design the uh, alignments terrain models corridors suppose you have designed so there would have been a drop down arrow in front of each and every element which you have designed till now since this uh, this file is empty so nothing is uh, appearing as a drop down menu so home tabs is a general, general tab for general tools which you we can use like it has models level display manager and the most important is the properties where we by using this property you can change the attributes of your design if you need to uh, change however it is very much parametric modeling also you can change right at the spot in the in your design file itself by clicking over that element and changing those values but if you need to change some like feature definitions or you want to change uh, other things uh, extends uh, extended menu kind of you so for that purpose there is a option for properties available right here in the home another very uh, good feature of open road designer is your quick search box which is uh, present here in the right top corner in the search ribbon if you are forgetting if you are unable to memorize any tool available at certain location uh, you need to type in here and uh, you you will be simply um, taken to that suppose i need to add super elevation so instead of looking at here and there or if i'm not able to remember where in which option it is going to uh, reflect so i will simply type in here and if you can see it is giving the complete path along which um, where my this option is available so one option is to go to that path or simply click it over here right over here so if i click right over here so i will be automatically taken to within uh, that tool as well 